I am going to file these for Belcher Construction with the Harmony Public Safety Officer. But I will be back in time for lunch. And I want this desk cleaned up by then. <laughs> You're out of control, I you know that. Well, then you just need to tame me. Mm. And I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> God, what have I done? How can I cheat on Gwen with... Jeez. Smith. Chad, hey, good to see you. Jared. Sorry I can't say the same thing about you. Well, here you are, Counselor. Some more documents pertaining to the Allen case. We figured we'd drop them off at you here so you didn't have to break into any more crane offices. <laughs> I didn't break into the offices, all right? The door locked behind me. Oh, you're still sticking to that story, huh? It's so lame test didn't even believe her. Well, don't be speaking now for your new boss, Jared, okay? Even if you are sleeping with it. Say what? I told you it was getting serious. Chad, will you do me a favor? Will you show your new co-worker the door? I got work to do. I'm not leaving until you sign this saying that you got the documents. What the hell is oh, this? You also need to sign that gag order that the judge placed on the case this morning. What? See, Teresa trusts me to take care of her needs. And I deliver, day or night. But Ethan's over Teresa. Okay, you can chill out on the personal side. No, no, that's okay. I, I enjoy Jared's little comments, but they don't bother me one little bitty bit. He knows I'm the bigger man anyway, don't you? Well, you can believe what you want, Ethan. But according to Tess, I more than measure up. I thought we were talking about the judge's gag order. Look, I don't need to court the press to win this case, all right? The facts, they speak for themselves. Oh, you want another fact, Ethan? I've taken your place in Tess's life at work. At play, and in the bed. And that's just eating you alive. Jared, shut up. I'm going to shut you up. <laughs> 